Hello and welcome to my short talk on smooth analysis in a nutshell. My name is Tilman Mills or just Till. And in this talk I want to explain what smooth analysis is. Okay, so smooth analysis tries to define in a theoretical way what typical instances are. Typical instance we mean instances which uh, appear in practice. Um, and uh, yeah, in order to show you how to define it, let's review worst case and average case analysis. Okay, recall what is an algorithm doing. You get instances, the algorithm is doing something and it generates an output. And depending on the instance, the algorithm takes more or less time. So it might be that be that for some instances, it takes a huge amount of time, but for others, it's, it's very fast. Um, so worst case analysis tries to figure out which is the worst uh, instance and for which it takes the largest amount of time. So if we look at this plot here, it seems that most instances take considerably less time than these very few worst case instances. So worst case analysis is sometimes too harsh um, in analyzing algorithms and it uh, gives much higher running times than are experienced in practice. So that serves as typical instances or maybe not always worst case. Um, so let's look at average case analysis. So in average case analysis, we're looking like on the average amount of time it takes. So maybe for some instances it takes long, but you know, for majority of instances it doesn't take so long. Um, and now the problem with average case analysis, it might be that typical instances are very structured and they don't look like those um, random instances at all. So in practice, you might um, encounter a lot of structured instances um, which take a lot of time. So here, typical instance might take longer than the average. So we would like to find a concept which um, is something in between worst case and average case to give a more realistic um, estimate, a theoretical estimate on on the running time of an algorithm. Okay, so the idea is that smooth analysis um, admits that instances are structured, but it also admits that instances have some random element, um, and it was wants to accommodate that. Um, so before I give a mathematical definition, let's give me one more example. Here's a floor plan that might be an instance and you run some algorithm on it, and it has structure, right? So these um, uh, the edges are rectilinear and maybe there's some design um, here, but there's also some randomness because um, the precise measurement, they may not be so important. You know, maybe someone designed it like this, but someone else would design it like slightly different. Um, so uh, there's also some randomness in the design process or maybe the measurement how this instance is generated. So, okay, let's go now to some mathematical definition that we got uh, set up right and uh, understood the ideas. So here we denote by i the instance and ti the running time of the instance. And ix we denote some instance which is perturbed by x, where x um, symbolizes the perturbation and tix is again the running time of the perturbed instance. We define a space of all possible perturbations, so that's a probability space. And then we can define the smoothed time for a specific instance. Um, so delta tells us by how much, by how large the magnitude of perturbation is. If delta is small, we, we think of there's very few perturbation and if delta is large, we allow a lot of perturbation. So here the smooth tunnels depend on the parameter delta. We take the uh, expectation over all perturbations which are in the probability space omega delta and then take the expected running time, Tix. This is how the smooth analysis for one instance is defined and then we can define the smooth analysis um, of all instances of a certain size. And so we would take the worst instances, worst instance um, and take for that instance a perturbation of magnitude. Delta. So here the max uh, symbolizes that we have some structure, maybe the worst instance is structured, 
but still there may be a small amount of randomness and then we take the expected, expected running time. So note, if you would not perturb at all, then um, and delta would be zero, then this would just be the worst case. You would just take the average over one instance uh, and that's the run time of that instance and then you take the maximum for all instance, which is just, just the definition of worst case running time. If delta is huge, then essentially it doesn't matter which instance you start with, you just perturb it so much that it looks like an average instance. And then this would correspond essentially to average case analysis. Um, so choosing some delta in between interpolates um, between these two extremes and then we call this smooth analysis or smooth analysis. Okay. So let me just say briefly something about the history. Um, Tang and Spielmann, uh, here you see Tang, here you see Spielmann, they showed that the simplex algorithm runs in polynomial time in terms of the size of the input and the size of the uh, perturbation. They received the Gödel prize for it, which is uh, one of the most prestigious prizes in theoretical computer science. And uh, so they made the smooth, smooth analysis an accepted model um, of analysis. Um, they introduced it and also um, they gave an explanation why simplex algorithm is fast in practice, although it's worst case, very bad. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it and understood something and uh, see you next time.